I joined the Scottish National Party uh, 31 years ago and this is what the membership card looked like in 1983 and I think it's important that we remember the progress we've made. You know, in those days we had two MPs, one MEP and a handful of councillors. In 2010 we elected six MPs, in 2011 69 MSPs, we've since elected two MEPs, 425 councillors and of course we've delivered the Scottish independence referendum, we've come a very long way over the last 20 or 30 years. We have just had the referendum and here in Dundee we polled a 57% yes result but of course no one can deny the result across the country it was disappointing we didn't quite do enough so what comes next of course is making sure we get more powers from Westminster the vows they pledged during the referendum campaign and that comes first of all in the 2015 general election. Well, the 2015 general election is the opportunity that the Scottish people have uh, to hold Westminster's feet to the fire, uh, to make sure they deliver the extensive devolution which they promised. Uh, devolution max, maximum devolution, which the Scottish people understand to be everything uh, apart from defence and foreign affairs. These were the pledges and vows the Westminster parties made. I think next year is the opportunity uh, to make sure that they deliver. And the only way we can do that is by keeping the campaigning energy of the Yes campaign together. That kind of fantastic energy we've seen over the past two years. If we keep campaigning together in the way we have done, we will deliver the largest number of independent supporting MPs ever and make sure Westminster sticks to its promises for Scotland. The rise in the Scottish National Party membership has been extraordinary, uh, from 25,000 members a month ago to over 80,000 members today. Absolutely wonderful people, I've met many of them across the country already. Good people who campaign for independence, who've not joined the SNP to change it, they've joined the SNP to be part of it, to carry on the campaign for Scottish independence. Of course, Scottish National Party members, all of them, new and old, should have the opportunity to select their candidates, whether it's for Westminster or Holyrood in 2016. And I firmly hope and expect all our new members will be given the opportunity to cast their vote, not just in internal elections, but to select the candidates that will represent the party in every election into the future. It's one of the rights of being a member of the Scottish National Party on a one-member, one-vote basis Everybody has the same power to select their candidates and I hope as many of our 80 odd thousand members as possible take that opportunity in the years ahead. Well the Scottish National Party as an organisation functions incredibly well but of course we need to take consideration. We've had a massive rise in membership so there are three things I propose. One is to step up the training for office bearers and organisers at a local level to make sure our new members feel welcome and we get the best out of them. Secondly, in terms of policy development, we should have regional national assemblies, the policy formulation part of the SNP, where all this new experience can be brought to bear as we develop policy for the future. And thirdly, I'd like to see the quarterly national councils of the SNP become something closer to annual conference, when more people get the opportunity to contribute at a national level. And if we do these three things, we can strengthen the party for the benefit of all our members, locally, regionally and nationally, and I think that would put us in a very good place for 2015 and beyond. Well, of course, I was the National Secretary of the party when we began to modernise. I was National Organiser when we rebuilt much of the party's grassroots campaigning capacity. After 2003, I've been Chair of the National Assessment Panel and, of course, an MP for nearly 10 years. So I've got a really good mix of experience to bring to the position of Deputy Leader of the SNP. I think it's important we all bring all the skills and experiences we have and I think my experience in all of those roles will be vital as we move the party on over the years ahead.